There was a piece of the investors meeting that I feel like not too many people are talking about. And maybe it's just because we're trying to blow it out of proportion and it's not as big as what it sounds like, but it does sound like maybe Nintendo is doing something a little bit different with Switch 2, where we could be seeing multiple presentations for the console and coming very soon. Well, if we go back into the investors meeting, it was actually mentioned by Nintendo that as with previous announcements of new hardware, we will continue to release information in phases leading up to launch. Now, this is nothing extremely new or is nothing extremely interesting at that. We know this happens with all past consoles, and Nintendo normally gives us pieces and chunks of information before eventually launching the console. Now, this could be taken as something that's going to happen exactly like the first Switch, or it could vary off differently, and maybe we get even more little presentations leading up to the launch of this console. I'm going to talk about what I think is going to happen and compare it with the original Nintendo Switch and try to make some predictions as to when the next time we can see the Switch 2 show up or mentioned at all. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. We are super close to 300,000 subscribers and you guys have been killing it each and every day. Let's see how many we can get from this one video. We are super close and there's a pretty juicy video planned for that 300k special. But thank you for tuning in and let's dive into the video. Now Nintendo has already confirmed that we will have an announcement before the fiscal year is over, which I believe is the beginning of next year, March and April time frame. I'm not 100% sure on that, don't quote me on that. So a lot of people are already predicting and some leakers are even coming out saying that we're going to get some type of reveal in the fall of this year, which is essentially from like September to December. As Nintendo has already mentioned that there will be a June Nintendo Direct and there will be no mention of Switch 2 in that Nintendo Direct. So how and when is Nintendo going to go about revealing this thing? Well, let's go back to the original Nintendo Switch and see what they did. For one, we got the code name to the console all the way back on March 17th of 2015. That's right, two whole years before the console would even release, where we found out that the console's code name was NX. Well, there's a reason Nintendo did this, is because the Wii U was such a miserable failure, Nintendo had no choice but to start getting out information about the next console, or like literally they probably would have dropped off the face of the world because of how bad the Wii U sold. So they had to start generating hype for the next console already, so that's why we're in a different time frame, where with the Switch 2, I don't think we're going to get a code name revealed. There's already been some hints and rumors that it's going to start with an O, because because of some internal files of a you know new version of Breath of the Wild coming to that console that we've already talked about. So something with an O, whether that's Omega or Ounce or something, it's hard to say. But I don't think we're ever gonna just go by the you know code name of this new console. I think Nintendo is just gonna come out and give us the actual name, which I kind of prefer. The first time we actually hear about the Nintendo Switch was in early 2016 during an investors meeting. And that's when it was finally acknowledged, of course, and we know that was going to be what started the year of hype for the Nintendo Switch. Well, guess what happened this year? Around the exact same time, we got revealed in an investors meeting that Switch 2 is actually a thing, that the Switch would have a successor console, and that there'd be more information on it at a later time. So, I think we're essentially in that same boat as the original Nintendo Switch. And then, of course, we would have to wait until October at the tail end of the Wii U's life cycle until we finally got a first reveal trailer for the Nintendo Switch. It was then followed up by a big Switch presentation just a couple months later in January and then the launch of the console in March. So with this information, we can kind of predict what Nintendo's gonna do with Switch 2. Now, of course, it may not be the exact same thing because remember, it was a different time back then and the Wii U was going through a crisis, uh, so things were different and it might not follow that same pattern. But if Nintendo's not gonna be at June this year with their Nintendo Direct with the new console, then when is it going to happen? Well, let's look at the months that's happening. I don't think July is going to have anything at all. Once again, it's still in that summer months. I feel like Nintendo wants to wait a little bit before revealing that console, and there's probably going to be lots of smaller games announced during this June Nintendo Direct to tie us over until the beginning of next year. I think July is definitely a no-go for Switch 2. Now, what about August? I see Nintendo potentially going with August if they want to have a lot of stuff announced this year. They're going to have to spread it out. So, I could see something happening like in August, and then something in October, and then something at the beginning of next year. That would be three total presentations, where Switch didn't do that. Switch had a reveal, 
and then a presentation and then the launch so two different presentations what's more likely of course it's just nintendo following the same pattern nintendo having some type of event in september or october to actually reveal a trailer for the console maybe showing off some small clippets of some games and stuff and then of course having us wait until january at the beginning of next year to show us the huge amounts of trailers for these games and you know a big in-depth deep dive of the new console and you know all the juicy stuff that's probably what's going to happen and yeah they're probably just going to want to copy exactly what they did with the switch since it was so successful but there's a problem this time around and let me tell you what that problem is it's the fact that nintendo hasn't really talked about anything being a launch title like there's been no talk about any type of big game coming in the near future the only type of game that i guess we could predict that's coming is metroid prime 4 so that's all we know and there hasn't been anything about that game whatsoever. Remember at the time, Breath of the Wild had been shown off multiple times and talked about coming to the Wii U until eventually it was moved as a cross launch with the Wii U and the Nintendo Switch. So the question is, what is this big you know, launch title going to be with the new console? I know a lot of people, myself included, are expecting something along the lines of a big 3D Mario or maybe even the next Mario Kart. But Nintendo's going to have to reveal that. I don't think there's any possible way that this new console comes out at the beginning of next year and Nintendo doesn't show off a trailer to one of the biggest launch games to that new console until the beginning of next year. That would be just so weird. Could you imagine like just three or four months coming after the announcement of a big 3D Mario game? And you're like, okay, the game's coming out in three months. There's no time for advertisement. There's no time for, you know, it to soak in the public and people to get ready and pre-orders and stuff. It's just kind of like, boom, here it is. And I feel like Nintendo's just not going to do that, especially with something as huge as the next 3D Mario game. If the rumors are true and we're getting the next console in the beginning of next year around March, that's 10 months until launch. That means that Nintendo has 10 months to start hyping up and revealing the console and also just hyping up and revealing the games. And I feel like the console can wait. You know, we know it's going to be an enhancement of the Switch and we pretty much know what to expect from these leaks and rumors. At least a general understanding of what this console is going to be. Just a bigger, better, stronger Nintendo Switch that is different. But at the same time, we don't really know any games. Not a single launch title that could be coming. And I feel like the same way that Breath of the Wild was extremely hyped up, this new Mario game, or whatever the launch title is going to be, also has to be extremely hyped up. And that's why I know a lot of people disagree with me, but I feel like it's almost important and almost needed for Nintendo to end this June Nintendo Direct presentation with a Switch 2 game, but just not tell us that it's a Switch 2 game. Just say, here's this next big 3D Mario game that's coming in 2025, and not really tell us anything else about it. And that way, you know, we can have it in the back of our mind that this is probably going to be our launch title. Look at Super Mario Odyssey. It had its official first review trailer about nine months until launch and technically we actually saw clips and gameplay of the game during the switch reveal that was all the way back in October of the year prior which means technically it's been 12 months since reveal to launch which is just about a year in advance so it's safe to say whatever this launch title was going to be Nintendo's got to show it off relatively soon and that's why I feel like going all the way into October just doesn't really make sense to me so in my head I see there naturally being either some type of big reveal of a huge switch 2 game that they just don't tell us it's a switch 2 game here in June or Nintendo hosts some type of big switch to event earlier than we expect around the august time frame they can reveal and show off this new game it's really hard to say but yeah i feel like that's the only thing that's kind of bugging me in my head right now is whatever this launch title is going to be nintendo needs to start advertising it and probably very soon so if i had to put out my final predictions as to what i think nintendo is actually going to do I think it's going to be slightly different than what people are expecting. I don't think we're just going to have October and then boom, beginning of next year, January, and then the launch. I think there might be an extra date, especially since Nintendo said that they're going to give out information over the course of the year. So I'm expecting maybe an extra little event in there somewhere. So this is what I'm thinking. If Nintendo does not reveal a single Switch 2 title in June, I think there could be some type of event in August. Just a small tiny one to reveal the console. Then I could see there being some type of Nintendo Direct focused on the games coming to the new console later on this year around October. And then at the beginning of next year could be the last final presentation, touching on more things with the console, more things with the games, and just cleaning up anything that's left untouched. And then boom, we'll have the launch in March. 
March. So this is the schedule that I'm thinking. Now, like I said, there's a really good chance that I could just be wrong and we could just be going through the exact same cycle we did with the Switch. It's just that first game that's throwing me off and maybe Nintendo doesn't care about the advertisement that much because they know it's going to sell well, so maybe they will hold off on it. So it's impossible to say, but definitely let me know in the comments down below what you think. When do you think Nintendo is going to start advertising this new console and how many presentations and reveals are we going to get? Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to help us reach 300,000 subscribers before you go. And like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.